Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how to catch a meteor? Well, you might be surprised to hear that it's actually possible. In fact, it's simpler than you might think. First of all, we need to know what we're dealing with. A meteor, meteorite, an asteroid, because there are subtle differences between these basic types of space rock. A comet originates from the outer solar systems where it's very cold, so it's made up of ice, dust and rocky materials. The heat from the sun causes the ice to vaporise and that's what creates the comet's tail. An asteroid generally originates from the inner solar system. They have no ice and therefore no vapour trail. A meteoroid is just a small asteroid less than 10 metres across and if and when it enters the Earth's atmosphere it burns up, leaving a streak of light and this is known as a meteor. A fireball is defined as a meteor that burns brighter than the light reflected off the planet Venus. When a meteor hits the ground, it becomes a meteorite, and it's thought that there are between 10 and 50 meteorite dropping events every day. Okay, so from that, each square kilometre on Earth should catch a meteorite at least every 139,000 years, so you might be waiting a while to actually catch one. But ignoring the minute chance of a meteor actually following the right trajectory to even fall into your hands, could we actually deal with the speed or heat? Meteoroids enter the Earth's atmosphere between 11 and 72 kilometres per second and a very large space rock would slice through the atmosphere with very little change to its speed, causing huge amounts of destruction. However, small meteoroids, less than 10 tonnes, are greatly affected by our atmosphere and are slowed down due to drag. As it falls, the extraterrestrial rock heats up, catches fire and begins to shed its outer surface, but between 15 to 20 kilometres high, the meteor usually decelerates so much that the flames actually go out. By the time they get just a few metres off the ground, they're not much hotter than the ambient temperature, but they have reached a terminal velocity of between 320 and 640 kilometres per hour, and that's not going to be easy to catch. But there is another option. The vast majority of meteoroids that enter our atmosphere collide with air molecules and are vaporised into meteoric dust, otherwise known as micrometeorites. These mini space rocks are easy to catch. They usually hang around in the Earth's atmosphere for days or even months after falling from space until they encounter a cloud. Then they provide a point for the water vapour to condense and form a raindrop. That's when they fall to the ground. So, pour some water into a large container and place it somewhere high where it's not going to be contaminated by too much terrestrial dust and debris. Then leave it there for a month or even longer if you can. Then run a magnet through all of the fragments in the water and because all meteorites have some degree of magnetism, they will stick to it. What you have left will almost certainly be micrometeorites.